Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to from wherever you are watching from. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Extensivo. Okay, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your phone camera, how to use your camera from phone as a digital webcam to um, live stream to Facebook, to live stream to YouTube or any social media of your choice, or to also project to projectors to TV to screens using OBS. Yes, I'm going to be teaching you how to send it to OBS or not using Vimix this time around. I showed you how to do it in Vimix a little while back. I'm going to put the link in the description. But this time around, we're going to connect them to OBS. Okay, so stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do that. Don't forget, my name is Joseph Olasukomi and this is Extensivo. Alright, so this is my OBS over here, but the webcam I use is Aaron webcam. This is my Aaron webcam. There are different webcams you can use. There is um, IV cam, there is droid cam, but I prefer your webcam because Aaron webcam you can use up to four cameras. Look at it over here. You can use up to four cameras, one, two, three, four, and it's not going to be lagging, zero lags. You can connect it to your Android or also to your iPhone. That's something about it. Look at it. You can use your mobile camera, your PC or Mac. You can use your Mac system or your Windows system. Also, an iPhone as your camera or a phone Android as a camera. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to download in webcam. I'm going to show you how to download this. I'll put in the link in this description video. Just search for Arium webcam download. The link is arionwebcam.com. This is it. Arion not Arium, rather Arium webcam this is the link here just enter it you know network in nigeria has been kind of shaky so um this is webcam for windows this is webcam for mac if you're using a mac and this is for ubuntu whatever that is okay so i'm going to put in the link for this one windows for mac also and for ubuntu all right and i'm going to also going to put the link for the webcam to download for your Play Store and for your Apple Store. Yeah, I'm going to show you the link also so you can download it on your phone instead and it's going to be good. You have to have the application on your phone and you have to have the software on your system so that way you can connect it to them so it's and it's going to be easy peasy going, no using of NDI and the rest. Okay, so once you click on the download, it's going to download instantly. You're going to see it here downloading, but instead I have it already so I'm not going to download it. I'm just going to cancel it. So once you install your Aaron webcam, you are going to have it on your system this way. Aaron webcam, the version you have, then connect by downloading Aaron webcam on your phone also. Once you enter the Aaron webcam on your phone, you are going to have something like this. So um, if you have, once you open the Aaron webcam, you are going to have it one, two, three, four here. This is going to be like, and you download the Aaron webcam on your phone. You are going to have something like this. I'm going to show you it on the screen. So I'm going to show you how to connect it now because I'm saying Aaron webcam turns your phone into a wireless webcam, and the phone here I'm saying waiting for connection. So how do you connect the two of them together at first? It's over here. You need um a Wi-Fi. You need your system and your phone to be connected to the, the same Wi-Fi. So you can either on or spot on your phone and connect your system to the hotspot so you are connected together or if you want to go live stream also i would prefer you have a wi-fi like for example now my system i have a wi-fi um, ggpm 5g this is the wi-fi we're using to live stream so i can connect my phone also to the same wi-fi ggpm 5g yes i'm connected to the wi-fi now i want to wi-fi to the same wi-fi ggpm 5g I'm going to screenshot it so i'm going to show you on the screen so if i connect to the ggpm 5g it's automatically going to show the phone this is it here you're automatically going to show the phone like this uh techno common six c system this is common 19 where c system so we're going to show it like this this way so i can just turn it to uh the front screen there's front there's back camera and the rest so i can just come to the front camera this way and be using this way so let's say this is what i want to um live stream right now this is my camera just you know picture something like in the church service or something so how do we connect it to your obs all right so this is the obs you enter the sources here you're going to add a source and you add a video capture device because it's a video so you can name it as cam one since it's literally cam one you can name it as cam1 because this is my cam1 and I want to do others. So in your devices here, this is Iron Webcam 3. So we need Iron Webcam 1. The one that does not have any number is the one. So once you enter Iron Webcam 1, this is it here. Showing Iron Webcam 1. 
so you can check the other things default resolution or you can make it your own resolution um you know in the inner webcam here you can change the resolution you want if you want 1280 by 720 or you want 1080 quality which is gonna be good depending on which phone your phone can carry for so my phone can carry 2k this is 2k quality here which is okay i guess all right so let me say a 2k quality two um 50 let's say uh, 2k quality 2560 by 1440 all right so i'm going to do my quality at 2550 by 1440 this is over here i'm matching fps you know i'm going to actually advise you to use 60 actually but depending on your system if your system can carry it so since i'm not really live streaming right now i'm going to use 30. so which video format do you want any video format um, you can just play around and check what exactly you want you can uh change the coloring also and the rest but if you don't have what to change you can just press okay and this is your camera over here kind of too big so let me reduce it a little yeah, to full screen all right so this is what you want to live stream and now let's set up the um facebook stream key now let's set up the facebook stream key okay so uh this is our stream key we copy it over here and go to the obs let's enter the settings then we we'll see stream yes so we enter stream we enter um facebook live this is book live it has the server already so just paste in your stream key which i just copied from facebook in case you don't know then you can show it to be sure that okay yes this is it okay so um ignore streaming service certain recommendation if you wish you can ignore but okay well, i'm gonna apply though so apply and press ok so if you want to start streaming you can just press start streaming and it's going to ask you do you want to start streaming and press ok yes so it's connecting to the facebook here the moment it connects to the facebook you're going to see it here you can go live you can put in your title as testing obs okay that is not to spell testing testing obs copy it and put it as a description also then you can go live and we are live on obs you streaming what i'm doing over here because i use the high quality video that is why it's lagging because um my camera actually is not a high quality camera so let me see how to change it if, if you if you encounter you having a problem like this your camera lagging you have to do is just reduce the quality of your camera so that it's going to be you know faster so because i'm using a high quality here that's why rather my camera is not out okay and it's even front screen camera so i'm going to use the 12 uh 720p okay so let me change it so you can just double tap on the cam one yes so in this place here you can just go down here and change the settings to 720 25 pal okay so i think this way it won't be lagging anymore then you can increase it to the size you want hey so much so bam that's there you have it you can stop streaming look at it's not i'm kind of not lagging anymore this is why i prefer uh vmix actually vmix it's not lagging it's not lagging honestly vmix is not lagging so you have your camera here whatever i'm doing here see it's doing in the um video cam so we have the drop frame here we have it here. it's the system is good drop frame zero percent cpu good everything good so on your facebook here live is going look at it this is the part where i was having a high quality video but it was red and now the frame rate is okay the bit rate is okay the audio rate is okay so there you have it how to connect your phone camera to your obs so if you notice when you connected your camera your in-run webcam to your obs or to your vmix and you notice it lagging all you have to do is reduce the uh, resolution because probably the resolution you set was kind of higher than your system can carry or it was kind of higher than your camera is that is how it is so just set the camera and do everything and bam yeah easy busy free to go all right so if this video has been very helpful to you please don't hesitate to like this video so this algorithm can suggest to everyone out there searching for how to connect a phone camera to obs or how to use a phone camera instead of a digital webcam in obs thank you so much for watching please and please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to join this amazing family i know i'm speaking fast so let me calm down a little bit all right so please don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel to join this amazing family turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i post new updates coming on this video thank you very much for watching don't forget my name is joseph or and this is extensive